so hello everyone today i'll be guiding you on how to see fps by playing games especially for iq vivo smartphones this method is free and can be used on any android smartphones it doesn't matter whether it is rooted unrooted or running on any os so first of all open play store search for this app called shizuku install this app after you have done installing this app open this app tap on start it will show this as message searching for wireless debugging service click on developer options uh, if this option doesn't open for you immediately go to about phone tap on version number seven times and it will enable developer options okay so after you have opened the developer options scroll down look for wireless debugging before this if you use any android smartphone running on realme ui color os or oxygen os you need to scroll down and find this option called disable permission monitoring you need to enable this it is already enabled for me then scroll up and find wireless debugging Uh, this one wireless debugging enable this click here and tap here and tap this part you can see a code okay now open this app Shizuku it will show some error or might not for you close this tap on start wait uh, tap on pairing part tap on notification allow notification go back and you can see Shizuku notification on top now go back here tap on pair device with pairing code click here and you can see this code 785167 it will be random number 785167 once done click here and it will pair the app now again go back to Shizuku tap on start it will start a service so you can see it is showing Shizuku is running now minimize this app open telegram and you need to download this app called scene I will put the channel link in my video description so install this app open it tap on agree now tap on ADB mode enable this tap on agree it will show some uh, notification allow it okay so uh, since I'm using oneplus 11 that have dual battery I need to click here and enable series double cell do not touch on any positive or negative value tap on save okay minimize it and uh, find scene app long press tap on app info enable notification then go back tap on display over other apps enable this okay once you've done this part open scene app now to see fps while playing game and other values just click on this icon this is called classic monitor it will show you cpu gpu clock speed temperature also the current power draw that is the uh, battery consumption it will show and this is what you need this is called fps this is called temperature monitor so i have enabled everything other part is not so necessary this is process manager it will show how many apps are running in background in real time okay uh, this is trade monitor it will show what percentage or the number of trade are being used by different apps so close this this is also not necessary so i will close this down tap ok now minimize this app now i will open and show you call of duty mobile 
so you this in call of duty mobile okay i've opened this app you can see the fps here okay now i will run a random match as you can see my battery temperature is 37.1 degrees celsius here 37 degrees celsius Without root, you cannot see the GPU clock speed, but for CPU, you can monitor it. Now, as you can see here, this is my current FPS I'm getting while playing game, and this is the temperature. So, these are the states. As you can see this is the FPS with OnePlus smartphone you can also use it uh, use this option but for other devices like Vivo and IQ they do not have this option so they can use this app to monitor FPS enemy contact targets in sight contact with enemy enemy down <laughs> Enemy contact! Contact with enemy! Contact. Okay, uh, now, say you want to see how much FPS, temperature and all you are getting while playing this game contact with enemy. without uh, uh, following the video completely. Or say someone have asked you uh, how much FPS or temperature you are getting while playing a particular game? Okay, so you don't need to send them a full video. All you can do is, as you can see, this FPS. Click here, sorry, click here, and it will show frame rate recording begins. So once done, play some time. Enemy Sam detected. Enemy. Contact. UAV online. Our UAV has been destroyed. Our UAV has been destroyed. Enemy in sight! Target down. Kill confirmed. Enemy. Be advised, hostile sentry gun spotted. Contact. Hostile with stealth chopper. Enemy SAM detected. Grenade, Enemy in sight! Okay. Uh, say uh, you have finished this game. I'm just saying you have finished this game and you want to see how much FPS, CPU and other values you are getting. Area. CPU clocks, temperature and other values you are getting while playing this game. Step here and you also frame rate finished. Now close this game. Okay. Now uh, you need to open CNET. Here. First of all, disable these states. Okay. Now go to menu. Here you can see frame rate states. Click here and you can see Call of Duty Mobile. Click here. As you can see, for a period of 1 minute and 21 seconds. My maximum battery temperature was 38.6 degrees Celsius. My maximum FPS was 121, minimum was 105, and the average FPS is 117. You can also see the CPU uses. Through the entire test, CPU 7 is the prime core of my device, that is three, that which runs at 3.2 GHz. Here you can see uh, the uses for specific CPU and this is the frequency through the whole time the CPU was running at 1.7 gigahertz and this is the power consumption minimum was 4.96 
wattage average was 6.28 wattage and the maximum was 7.12 wattage so uh, this is everything you need to know and CNAP is completely and understand this CNAP is completely free if you only use these features which is seeing the clock speed temperature RAM speed etc process manager trade monitor mini monitor it will show the current FPS but this FPS is not game FPS okay don't be fooled this FPS you are seeing on top it is not game FPS it is the how much the dif uh, the display is refreshing so do not use this or you will or you will or you will get confused rather use this part or and this these two states are more than enough so that you can monitor how much your battery cpu gpu and ddr ddr means your memory all these are hitting while you're playing game or using your phone normally so that is all i will link the app uh, body apps in my video description hope this video is useful to you if it is useful to you give a like or even if you don't this okay okay then bye bye